All right, the second video is going to show the solutions for problems 7 through 10. These are the exponent questions with integer exponents. So notice it says simplify your answer, or simplify. Your answer should contain only positive exponents. So no negative exponents and no zero exponents in your answer. So when I look at number 7, the first thing I'm going to notice is the parentheses around everything, and then there's a zero power, so remembering that anything to the zero power is 1, my answer here turns into a 1. Problem number 8, I'm going to do some simplifying inside first. I can put those b's together. I've got 4 and 2 more, so I have b to the 6th power. So 2b to the 6th power, 4 plus 2 is 6, and then that's raised to the negative 3 power. Now here I have a couple different options. I can either distribute the negative 3 power, or I can drop the whole thing into the denominator and make it 1 over 2b to the 6th to the positive 3 power. I think I like this option. Um, now I can make that 1 over, let's see, the 2 is to the 3rd power, and the b to the 6th is to the 3rd power. And I'll do one more step of simplifying. 2 to the 3rd power is 8, and b to the 6th to the 3rd, those exponents need to multiply, so I have b to the 18th power, and I am done. Problem number 9. Um, again, I'm going to simplify inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to take that fraction that's inside right here, and I'm going to drop that p to the negative 4 down into the denominator as a p to the 4. This isn't the only way to do it, but it's not a bad way. So I'm going to have 1 over 2p to the 5th, and I'm going to raise that to the 4th power. So I do 1 to the 4th power, which is still going to be a 1. I have a 2 to the 4th power, and I have a p to the 5th to the 4th power. So I will make that 1 over, 1 times 1 times 1 is still 1. 2 to the 4th power is 16, and the exponents multiply on the p, so I have p to the 20th power, and we're done. All right, problem number 10. Oh, not all of my exponents are integers. I'm going to switch stuff around a little bit. Let's just reorder a little bit. I have 2 times 3, which is going to turn into a 6. I have an x and an x squared, which will become x to the third, and then x to the five thirds. Right? Those exponents need to multiply on the, or not multiply, sorry. Those exponents need to add. Those exponents on the variable x need to add. One and two more makes three, but I'm going to also add the five thirds. We're in the realm here where the exponents need to add. So we'll do six to the... 6 times x, so let's see, what's 3 plus 5 thirds? We're going to leave our answer as a fractional exponent, a fraction exponent. Let's see, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 thirds, that's going to be 9 thirds plus 5 thirds. I have to have a common denominator to add those together. I get 14 over 3, and we are done. Our answer is 6 times x to the 14 over 3 power, and that is the end of the exponent questions.